I've determined that there's really four defensive reads you need to master to become a go-to shooter for your team. Let's get right into how to dominate your defender when they don't think you can shoot the basketball. Now, after many years of doing homework, research, development, this is 14 years as a player development coach with Attack Basketball Academy. This is also watching basketball games, playing basketball games, even the games I played and had a lot of success at, with these tips I'm teaching you, and also I struggled at and failed, being very vulnerable, okay? Let me go over them. They're very simple. A defender is going to play you four ways. Play number one. They're gonna play you loose. Their closeout is gonna be really a test of fortitude. Their hands are gonna be to the side or down. That's a nonverbal cue, meaning body language sign of you're gonna to have to shoot this basketball. I'm not respecting your game. I've seen that coverage before. I've been scared of that coverage and I've welcomed that coverage, being real with you. But you gotta see, if them fenders here, they're saying you can't shoot. Their hands are here to the side or down. That's the first. I'm more than one arm's length away. I can touch him, one arm, I'm way back. My hands are down, my hands are out. You gotta shoot that basketball, let's go. Let's... Good, good, good job. Loose, loose coverage. They're not running out, they're disrespecting your game. Be ready to shoot the basketball, lift up and shoot. Okay, let's get into the second one. Let's talk about tight. Now you have to get ready for your foot fakes and shot fakes. It might be a low shot fake ball above your head, might be with a jab. You still can lift up and shoot it if I'm still in that disrespectful stance, hands down or hands out. You also can put the ball on the floor, think layup. If I try to beat you to the spot, you want to learn to drop your coverage, stop, pop your shot for a pull up jumper. Okay, when you show them you can shoot, now they're gonna play tight. That ball is up there, they're gonna be really so close where you can smell their breath, whether it smells good or not. I don't wanna get too close to them, right? We're close, but I don't get that close. I mean, they're gonna play really tight, and you gotta have a scoring solution right away with that shot option we're talking about. Here we go. Back up, three-point line. All right, close out tight. Good job, perfect. Good, good. Let me get to you. Close out tight. Good job. Perfect. Good. Good. Let me get to you. Close out. Good. Nice job. Right? That's an and one, two, because I fouled it. Okay? That's tight. Let's get it. We're trying to reach 5,000 subscribers by the end of the month, and we need your help. We roll out high quality videos every week to help you become a premium basketball player. So help us reach our goal and click that subscribe button. We talked about loose. Loose equals shoot. Catch and shoot. Ready to go. Tight. Shot fake, foot fake, right? Put the ball on the floor. They try to beat you to the spot. You drop their coverage. When they drop their coverage, you stop, you pop your shot. Drop, stop, pop mentality. Now let's talk about overplay. Overplay solution, we don't want to go into where help can step up. All you want to work on is what we call a lateral sidestep, escape float dribble, a bounce out. So now I'm running way over. He wants to slide to his left to knock down the shot. All we're talking about is a step dribble, space out shot. We can get downhill, that's a solution, but we want to step to the side and knock down that shot because we have that opportunity. So now read my overrun. Right, read my overrun. Good. Good job. Good. Good. Way to freeze me, they lift up and shoot. Now we're going to talk about force. Force goes back to they're going to force you right, they're going to force you left. Keep this video very simple. On the force, here's an option. I force you left, you can go with that lateral step. Attack me. When his right foot hits me, his right foot's gonna take him left and a lateral step to create space. He also going to a pull up jumper, right? His choice. He can go to the basket, I drop my coverage. He can stop right at and just raise up and lift it. Same concept can be to the right. It's up to him. He can go lateral step, he can go step back, he can pull up towards the basket, he got options. This is now the last option. Number four is force. We're trying to force you in a direction. Make him pay. There you go, good. There you go, good. Force and left. Good move. Yeah, there you have it, man. Good work. Like that's, 
Let We're me... trying to tell you something here. Please take heed to this. Problem solving is long term. And the problem with games, as much as now I see games are played at the young levels, we're trying to problem solve during games, which is too late. You need to problem solve in practice. I mean, like these four ways you can, you can shoot. I'm not gonna be in a game on the sideline telling somebody this. No, because in a game, you have to make decisions and decisions are quick. That's why I'm giving you shorthand cues. Loose, loose shot, tight attack, pull up, overplay, sidestep, right? Force, your choice, your choice. Those are solutions for decision-making that display player readiness in games. We problem solve and attack basketball. We take our time. We, we focus on the fundamentals. We, get, we make it fun. We give you solutions. So when you play, those solutions are player scoring options. We call PSOs, and you dominate your defenders. I want to make sure we're taking your game to the next level. So I'd like to offer you a gift that covers all the must-know basketball principles. Click that link in the description below to download. And if you're really interested in becoming a premium player, check out our training vault bundle that can be found at the same link. It includes everything you need to play with confidence and poise. Enjoy your gift and keep attacking.